nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Hey, good morning, good morning, guys Yeah, we got us a uh, interesting Sunday morning here yeah, we just woke up here not too long ago, and uh, well, we knew uh, we had a load, right? So uh, get her up and get going, and uh, or went over to Penners and picked up our trailer, and it's another light load. And I don't know. Every time it's snowing, I'm getting a light load. <laughs> when it's not snowing, I'm getting a heavy load. <laughs> Oh well, we're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. But yeah, we're making our way down to Iowa. Yeah, Burlington, Iowa, I believe it is. And I was looking at the radar there before I left home. And it looks like uh, the snow is going to stop a little bit into North Dakota. And then it's a little further east of me, so... Uh, it looks like it's kind of spotty. I might get snow on and off all day, probably, but uh, not very much. Probably I'll be on the edge of the system, it looks like. And so uh, I know where I'm going to have to deliver. That's exactly where it's snowing right now, too. But, uh, it, you know, by tomorrow, hopefully it will have moved on. And we'll be out of that system. And, won't have to deal with the snow, but hey, if it snows, we can't do anything about it, can we? Not whatsoever. So, it's, at least it's not snowing super heavy. It's like just a light snow. It's a little wind drift there, it looks like across the road, but nothing major either. It doesn't look like it's super windy. And, it doesn't feel like it's slippery either, so that's a good thing. As of right now, it, at least it isn't slippery yet, so we'll see how long that's gonna last, but probably down, down the road somewhere, it'll probably start getting slippery, you know, as the day progresses. Well, we'll find out, I guess. As long as it's not gonna be too super windy, I should be all right, like last week, it was extremely windy, so... And then driving with the light load? Nah, I ain't taking that chance. So hopefully we don't have to deal with that today or tomorrow. And then we'll see. I'm supposed to deliver already tomorrow. Uh, no later than 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, we kind of got our work cut out for us. We really do. Especially with these kind of conditions, we're gonna have to uh, keep that left door closed pretty much all day long. But that's all right. We'll make it happen unless the road gets too bad, right? And we obviously can't. I'm not gonna uh, put anybody else in danger or myself. So if it no longer is safe to drive, then we stop, right? You seen that this last week, so yeah. Anyways. Appreciate you guys tuning back in. I'm back on the road again. Station yes, ahead. indeed. Yeah, that means we're almost up to Highway 59 already. Wow. I have just made it back into the United States of America. Yes, indeed I have. And look at this. The road is nice and clear up here. The only place that was a little bit crappy was uh, on Highway 23. Well, we made it through, right? We're here right now at, uh, at pretty much at the border and we just entered North Dakota again. Like we do this almost every other time, right? <laughs> yeah, but hey, here we are. Back at it again. And it's still sort of, I don't know. It's, right now it almost seems like it's rain, more rain than it actually is snow. But it is a bit of a mixture of snow and rain and ice or whatever. But hey, that's alright. we got us uh, 790 miles to go yet to our delivery. We're supposed to be there anytime between 7.30 tomorrow and uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 
that's the time I've been given that I need to be there so we're gonna try and do our best to make it there right on time which is before two o'clock <laughs> yeah so I already did the calculation a little bit if I just take my bare minimum 10 hour break then uh, I could be there I think 11 or 11 30 or something like that so we'll see maybe 12 so uh, if that's the case, then uh, you know by two o'clock I should be unloaded and leaving the place. Hopefully they'll get me a reload right away. I would actually like to go back to Toronto and then, you know that would give me some good miles. I would really, really like that. That's for sure. All right, guys, we are now in Minnesota. Yeah, we've been in Minnesota now for a good while already, I guess an hour and a half already, so figured it's time to do another little clip here for you guys and uh, show you what it looks like. It's overcast, but uh, at least it's not snowing, right? Keeping our fingers crossed that it ain't gonna be snowing anymore. I was looking at the radar there earlier, I made me a little pit stop there and had me my half an hour break and all that good stuff. I was looking at the radar and it looks like the snow was just on the other side of Minneapolis now. So it looks like I'm going to be lucky and be able to avoid that big storm. I'll probably hit it right after it, it passed but uh, by that time I get there they'll probably have most of it cleaned up. At least on the roads right so uh, that should be alright. But yeah, we're just keeping the left door closed and hammer down. We still have 548 miles to go. So we gotta, we gotta work hard here, that's for sure. In order to get to our delivery tomorrow before two, that's, that's gonna be a tough one. We don't need any snow or anything like that. But yeah, I just finished watching uh, trucker jukebox's live show there a few minutes ago and I was over there parked and yeah he's always doing live shows on Facebook and stuff like that so so here we are back at it again we'll see how far we make it my goal is to make it a little bit past Minneapolis that way I don't have to deal with rush hour tomorrow morning. That would be nice. Yes, indeed. Well, guys, we are getting closer to Minneapolis. Matter of fact, speaking, we're only about 42 miles away. Yes, indeed. And for some odd reason, it decided to start it raining up here, or sort of a mixture of rain and ice it looks like right now so I'm really hoping it ain't gonna be too bad because we really want to get to uh, through Minneapolis yet I already looked it up and it looks like there's that uh, hat row there in uh, Albert Lee Minnesota on 35 and I really wouldn't mind going up to there and then uh, just stopping in there that's a fairly big truck stop in there so I don't think we should have too much of a problem stopping in there for a Sunday uh, Sunday night, I would think. So uh, I think I'm going to give that a chance and hopefully we can go in there and park her for the night. And we'll be done for today. That will be nice. Although we still have a total, total of uh, 458 miles to go yet. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to take our minimum 10 and go, you know, but that's all right. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. But yeah, I'm just hoping that ain't going to be too icy or whatever here as we continue on with our journey. Or hopefully tomorrow it will all be disappeared. That would be nice. We have achieved our goal and that was getting past Minneapolis. Yes, indeed we have. We made it up to Albert Lee, to the Petro here. And I had me a good night's sleep and it's actually the next morning now. 
Yeah, nice and quiet over here. I'm just getting ready to put these video files into my computer and uh, get my day started. So, uh, figure I end my video and all that good stuff. So, uh, appreciate you guys watching today, guys. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Trucker Rudy Show. So, don't go nowhere. <laughs>